cranial nerves of the sheep brain. Um, we'll begin with the olfactory nerve. You can see the olfactory nerve pretty well on this sheep brain that's been dissected. Here is the olfactory bulb. Here is the olfactory tract coming down. So we have the olfactory nerve. Olfactory nerve. That's the first cranial nerve. The second is the optic nerve. So let's start on this one. Here is the optic nerve. We can actually see the nerves here. These are the optic nerves coming from the eyeball, and they cross at this point. That's the optic chiasma. It's difficult to see because the dura mater is still on. But on this brain, you can see the crossing. And of course, the optic nerve has been removed when we remove the uh, dura mater, but you can still see the crossing here. So here's the optic nerve or the optic uh, chiasma or cranial nerve number two. The third cranial nerve is found on the cerebral peduncle and on this brain we see it visible. Here's the peduncle right here, the swelling, and here's the op ocular motor nerve or the third cranial nerve, ocular motor right there. That little stump right there that's been cut, that's the ocular motor nerve. Next we have the trochlear nerve and the trochlear nerve is also apparent on this. It's a very tiny, tiny little nerve. See, there's the, there's the trochlear nerve right there. And I'm going to find you another example of that also. Hold on. All right, here we have the, uh, another example of the trochlear nerve. Can you see that little white uh, thread-like nerve right there? That is the trochlear nerve, kind of emerging laterally. On this sheep brain also, let me show you the ocular motor nerve. There it is. The ocular motor nerve arising from the peduncle, cerebral peduncle. Ocular motor, that's three. And trochlear is four. Um, <clears throat> next, we have the trigeminal nerve. <clears throat> On this sheep brain, we can see the, uh, the stump where the trigeminal nerve used to be, right here. It's been cut off. All this remains on these brains are the stump of the trigeminal nerve. It's right on the pons. See, I'm getting my probe right behind it. That is a nerve that has been cut. It's a big, thick stump. On this nerve, I mean on this brain with the um, dura mater still on, we can see part of the trigeminal nerve. These big branches that are coming off. See how massive these nerves are? They were cut right down here at the stump and that's all that's left over here. But this is the trigeminal nerve big trigeminal nerve on either side of the hypothesis. Um, the sixth one and last one that you're responsible for on the sheep brain is the abducens nerve. And there it is, right there. It arises between the medulla and the pons. There's the abducens right there. That's the abducens. See if I can find another. Here's another example of the abducens arising between the medulla and the pons. There's the abducens right there. Those are the only ones you need to find on the sheep brain, the first six.